Evacuate immediately. That is the message to people in southern Gaza from Israel's military as the IDF signals that the ground offensive is expanding. It comes as Israel claims it is close to dismantling the Hamas military system in the north. Let's bring in former Navy SEAL who trained the IDF troops in Israel, Cameron Hamilton. Cameron, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, so the operation at Al Shifa Hospital continues, slow, methodical. Here's what the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said about it. Listen here. We entered that hospital with Arabic-speaking Israeli doctors, and we had no firefight. But Hamas was using the patients in that hospital as a human shield. We found a command and control center, military communications, coded equipment. We found bombs. We found uh, weapons. And we also found terror tunnels. Discovered some weapons in an MRI room, another room as well. They did discover what they say is the entrance to a tunnel, and they took Western media there to show it to them. But so far, they have not gotten underground to what Israel says is a vast subterranean complex that serves as Hamas headquarters. Do they have to go in there to prove to the world that Hamas was indeed using this protected target for military purposes? It's a really difficult scenario, but unfortunately, they will. If their plan is to showcase the difference between Israeli tactics mm -hmm. and the fight that they're bringing and the tactics used by Hamas and other outside agitators that are amplifying the effort and the carnage, they have to. And that's the delicate balance of the more technology you introduce, the more advanced weaponry and equipment that you have to clearly mitigate threats also destroys that critical and incidental intelligence. So Israel is in a long, dirty fight. They'll have to send troops down into those tunnel networks. And that's also a delicate balance about the moment you start dumping bodies in a hole, you have to be aware of where those go. Um, and so they don't want to flush out individuals that can then emerge from other locations in the city that are unperceived. Um, so it's a it's a multi factor approach where they have to basically surround the adjacent regions and then continually probe and try to find areas where individuals might flee once they do make entry. But they oh, will have to. We were talking in the break as to whether or not Hamas is even still using Al Shifa or if they've used that tunnel network to bug out somewhere else. I think it's likely that they still do for some strategic purpose, but most likely organizations like this, we have to remember Hamas is not new to this fight. Um, they're not the real freedom fighters people like to think that they are. They move from a place that's of a strategic advantage to another. So they're very quick and adapt mm -hmm. like wolves to move from one region to another. So I would not be surprised at all if their command center and other you know, critical incident posts have already been moved to adjacent areas within the city. Uh, so Israel is now setting its sights on the southern part of Gaza for a ground invasion. Yoav Gallant, who is the defense minister, said that the operation will include both the north and the south. Leaflets were dropped over Khan Yunus in recent hours. This is call for number three here. They said, quote, for your safety, you need to evacuate your places of residence immediately and head to known shelters. Anyone near terrorists or their facilities puts their life at risk and every house used by terrorists will be targeted. When do you think Israel moves the ground operation to the southern part of Gaza? That's a difficult balance because obviously every piece of territory that you gain, you have to hold. And then you have to retain all the infrastructure, supply, resupply, things along those lines. So parts of southern Gaza, you'll have to use a lot of advanced technology such as tanks and aviation support. Well, keeping those systems in place is not easy. Keeping refuel, water, food for troops is not a, a simple task. So. What I project right now, because of the Northern Command still being very active and alert, is that they're not trying to get in too far without basically spreading their forces thin. So once they fully mitigate aspects of Northern Gaza, they'll then eventually migrate down. I would expect that they're already probing now, even though we don't see it on the news. My imagination would have us that, and based upon conversations with members of the IDF, they have individuals in a more clandestine manner, are looking for points to mm -hmm. access the southern aspect of Gaza. So as when they bring the cavalry, so to speak, with the tanks and with large vehicles, they know exactly and methodically about how they're going to engage in that campaign. A lot of days of fighting still ahead. Cameron Hamilton, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank have you. Have a good weekend. Thanks.